a man was riding on a bus minding his own business, narrator but he had already gotten off 5 stops ago. Then the woman rips off her mask and reveals she was the bus driver. Can confirm, I was the baby. His name Albert Einstein. Okay, so he wasn't actually riding the bus? Thank God. Such a common thing for women to say. Cross post to our adult breastfeeding please. A shepherd is tending his flock in a remote pasture. Someone watched last week tonight with John Oliver. When I heard it was a brunette that was actually a blonde and the shepherd guessed that she was a blonde because she took the dog. I think I've seen this here before but not in a while and not a lot. I like it, holy cow sheep. This was unsettlingly accurate. Who's McKinsey? LOL. Our MBA is gonna be mad when they read this. This is perfect. I have endured consultants at work and this describes it perfectly. The only thing missed is when they act all interested in what you are doing, asking questions and praising, finding out all the details of what you are working on and then go to senior management and present your ideas as theirs. Didn't he win a sheep? A young punctuation couple, Mr. Apostrophe and Mrs. Comma. Did I answer your question, Mark? Of course, the reason they couldn't have a child of their own is that their sexual activity involved her colon. This joke needs a semicolonoscopy. Sorry. I can't continue tonight I only have a semi, Colin, that's a long way around for a pun, Edwardian period joke, classic, I don't get it, hide, the grammar Nazi are here, grown why did I read that? This is a question I'll be asking myself all day, a boy potato and a girl potato fell in love, got married, and had a little sweet potato, years later she met a boy potato who worked for the local potato news station, they fell in love but the father potato wasn't having it. He said there was no way his daughter was going to marry a commentator. All the billionaires obsessed with longevity are exactly the kind of people you wouldn't want to live forever. When was the last time a bad person died and people breathed a sigh of relief? It seems like worse people seems to live forever. This is why I think it's stupid when some naive fool gets all excited about humanity being immortal or extremely long lived in the future. You think the rich are going to share that technology with everyone? This is almost the entire point of the Altered Carbon series. Living forever after their money runs out would be the greatest punishment though. Did you ever hear the tragedy of Darth Deal on the rich? I thought not. It's not a story the poor would tell you. And all appear to be having a pretty joyless existence in order to achieve that aim. The great irony of life the better it is the more you lose by has a sense of dimension it makes a person who is defeated aging dying from unnatural causes like a freak accident more ironic. I wouldn't mind some billionaires getting frozen in cry estate. Attractive people must often overestimate how funny they actually are. Not the only thing they overestimate. It's how I know I'm funny. I get laughs and have a face like a smashed crab. Along the same lines I feel like I've garnered more respect just by being tall. I even inherently feel more respect towards people that are tall. Not for any logical reason, more subconsciously. If you're self-aware this isn't a problem. This goes for anyone emo. I always envy how overconfident they seem to be when surrounded by people laughing at all their jokes. What a life it must be. I always laugh the hardest at my own jokes. It came to me that you know how they always say women like guys with a sense of humor? It turns out they laugh at handsome guys. Norm MacDonald, my favorite liar liar. Lady in elevator everybody's been real nice. Fletcher read well, that's because you have big jugs. Going to a sex shop when you're horny is the same as going to the grocery store when you're hungry. Going to a brothel when you are horny is the same as going to a restaurant when you are hungry. Back in the day, before the internet, Sex shops had little rooms in the back where people would pay 25 cents a minute to watch porn in little booths. You didn't spell hungry with an EY spell horny with an EU too horny to spell correctly? The E from what should have been your ended up inside horny. Probably should have gone to school more. So is going to a library when you spell horny wrong? My horny? Where's my horny? Going to the toilet when you need to poo is the same as going to the hospital when about to give birth. So you just walk around randomly fucking things like you're eating the grapes at the grocery store? Horny and you're. It actually isn't because I can spend a weekend at Costco taste testing everything. I can't taste test or want to at a sex shop. When my horny is or does what? I accidentally rubbed ketchup in my eyes. A sight for sauce eyes. Now you're seeing red. Better than when I rubbed mayonnaise into my eyes. They were burning like hellman. In hindsight that was a mistake. Come on you gotta be careful. What's tomato with you? Should look into wearing a condiment. You're fine. It's rich in vitamin C. I'm spending a lot of time ketchup on this posts. Poor me. The anticipation was killing me. Your vision is now 5757. I've heard of the man that fries his eyes. 
I'm glad someone else didn't do it to you because that might include assault. I got a lot of flack for proposing to my Chinese fiancé over takeout food. Seems I gave her the one wing. Did you have a Spider-Man moment then, with your eyesight suddenly getting perfect? Cause hindsight is 2020. Here's my upvote and I am out of here lol. Hindsight is not 2020. I went to Alaska to find out the human cost of our enormous and growing appetite for seafood. AMA about what I learned. First, great work. Secondly, how did this change what types of seafood you eat? I worked as a fishmonger for many years and now I refuse to eat farmed salmon. What solutions, do you think, should the world pursue in light of your findings? Hello, and thanks for the there's such a thing as seafood that is responsible to consume it all. From an environmental health perspective, or would it be better to skip it all together? Hi it seems everyone was surprised by the increased caloric intake, caused by warmer temperatures. Being the culprit behind the missing snow there are worries that this trend could impact other fisheries as well. Are there any lessons we're learning in Alaska that could be applied to the fishing industry globally? Which I guess is a roundabout way of asking about the chances of global wild fisheries collapsing in a similar way. If you could only eat three fruits for the rest of your life what would they be? I hope you all realize how much you're gonna miss lemons, strawberries, blueberries and peaches, pineapple, strawberries, apples, three bananas, mango, watermelon, and coconut, strawberries, apples, and nectarines, pears, peaches, and cherries, large, I hope, raspberries, blueberries, pink grapefruit, grapes, mango and lychees, bananas, grapes and apples, watermelon, grapes, and bananas, definitely tomatoes if we're counting that as a legitimate fruit, if we aren't counting tomatoes then I do apples, grapes, mangoes, strawberries, pineapple, and grapes, cherries, raspberries, blueberries they're awesome, bananas, that femboy down the street, and maybe mangoes, mangoes are pretty damn good fresh, blueberry, strawberry and blackberries, redditors who married someone with an identical twin sibling, why are you glad you're not with the other twin instead, my dad's an identical twin, People have a hard time distinguishing them, but to my mom and me, they look like two completely different people because of the way they walk talk etc. Obviously my mom only fell in love with this one person. When you love someone it's actually pretty easy to tell identical twins apart. I like my wife's personality better than her sister's. The other twin has the same personality as I do. We argue readily and are super competitive towards each other. We butt heads on a lot of issues. Greetings, I am married to a formerly conjoined identical twin who is now missing an arm. When it comes to cuddling in bed, I have a preference for spooning on the left side. Dill America has the highest disposable household income in the world. You know, something I talked with a guy from Peru once. Gringos may be gringos, but even poor gringos still can afford quality phones, multiple video games and maybe even a car. I'd like to thank my mother. Teenagers with disposable income is how the entertainment record industry developed. The entire genre of rock and roll was created because boomers had folded money as kids. Yeah. I mean I subscribed to Paramount Plus once, which is about as close to throwing your money away as you can get. The responses confirm how unpopular this fact is, unfortunately. Till in 2012 Jimmy Jong uncovered a coding error on the now defunct crypto market Silk Road that allowed him to withdraw more funds than he deposited. He stole 51,680 BTC $3.4 billion and stayed anonymous for 10 years before finally getting caught and arrested in 21 and was sentenced to one year. Lesson 1. Never phone cops asking about missing funds from the funds that you stole. It wasn't worth it much when he stole it Bitcoin was worth less then. Also work he helped Silk Road patch the glitch later. He allegedly claimed Ross Ulbricht said he could keep it for his help no supporting evidence though. Sucks when you steal 3.4 billion dollars and have to go to jail for a year. Rough out there. Who wants to bet this guy still has a couple million stashed around? Calling Silk Road a crypto market feels like burying the lead a bit. FBI came in and stole little afterwards too lol. Tell that a man has died after using an epoxy adhesive to seal his penis because he didn't have a condom to have sex. An unnamed police source said the pair were addicts and were known to mix whitener with the epoxy to inhale for a kick. Explains it all. Before even reading that. I knew the guy must have been high on something. Imagine how painful it felt when he nutted. He supposedly died from multiple organ failure due to the adhesive. I figured he would have had burns due to the exothermic reaction. When faced with point 0.1 pulling out point 0.2 not having sex this time point 0.3 sealing your penis with epoxy s really only one choice, isn't there? Wait. WTF is multiple organ failure from glue? I get that stuff on my fingers. Is it that toxic? Can you imagine shit I don't have a condom? One second, I think I've got something in my toolbox. Did his dick explode when he nutted? Siri how do I unread a sentence? 
tell that the man who authored the NIST manual on passwords and recommended password changes every 90 days regrets doing so. Mandatory password changes on a scheduled interval are no longer recommended by NIST. Can we get word to our employers to change the guidelines? Indeed, I merely increment. With multi-factor authentication many organizations have done away with mandatory change password periods. The best part of this story which often isn't reported is that NIST still requires frequent password changes for their own staff. Even after all this, I was waiting for the classic Bill Burr sarcasm and didn't get it. I just forget my passwords and change them every two weeks. Perfect security if you ask me. I'd actually be able to memorize a strong password via muscle memory if I didn't have to change it every 90 days and instead I have to memes. I hate that the policy makes things less secure but IT leaders are still too scared to change drop it. We usually think of dogs as masculine and cats as feminine. But both women and dogs are stereotyped as being emotional, and both men and cats are stereotyped as being unemotional. Contempt is an emotion, and all of those stereotypes are full of shit. I have emotional cats. Cats are not unemotional, they are reserved. Me and my SO are cats. Both cats and dogs can be incredibly emotional and affectionate. Dogs and cats just have different ways of expressing it. I know for sure my cat isn't unemotional and has a wide range of thoughts, moods and needs it can go through I love you Rasputin. Just as a dog has, they just have different ways of expressing emotions and engaging with humans. Like you said, it's stereotypes. Who assigns gender roles to animals by species? What candy do doctors eat? Given by Dr. Pepper, patients eat 100 grand. Anesthesiologist, take 5. Proctologists, Butterfinger. Doctor of Optometry, sees. Psychiatrists, Nutty Buddy. Astrophysicists have choices Milky Way Mars. Podiatrist, Tootsie Pop. Obstetricians, Baby Ruth, Cosmetic Surgeon, Mounds, Dr. John's Healthy Sweets, Doctor That Takes All Types of Insurance Pay Day, Doctor of Gymnastics Twizzlers, Doctor That Finished Magnum Cum Laude Nerds, Anesthesiologist Snickers, Pediatrician Baby Bottle Pop, Last Time I Heard That Joke, My Dentist Suggested To Avoid The Heart It Was A Jaw Breaking Experience, Pay Day, Orthopedic Surgeon, Kit Kat Give Me A Break, what is a never have you ever that you are especially proud of? Cheated on someone, been arrested. Never have I ever smoked a cigarette. Heroin. Never have I ever broken a bone. Never have cheated on anyone. Never ever meth or heroin. Thank God, murdered someone. The number of idiots I've wanted to murder is uncountable. Gotten someone pregnant. Never have I ever bought a cat. All my cats have come from rescues, shelters or directly off the street. Cheated on again. I was only ever with one person for like two weeks. Posted a Minions meme. I never picked up an illegal alien from Home Depot to take home and choke me while I touch myself. Watched any Real Housewives of blah blah. Never seen any of the Twilight movies. Put alcohol up my rectum. I'll start. Never have I ever caught an STI. Relieved face. Never done cocaine. Apparently way more people than you expect have. What is a situation you have almost no sympathy with? I work a lot with families from diverse socio-economic backgrounds. I try to show and embody as much empathy as I can. BC my parents were once in really tight places too. But it fucking drives me insane when a parent has money for weed and cigarettes but their child has no food after school or clean diapers. I really, really, struggle with the idea that people are that selfish. Your kid doesn't deserve to wear diapers 12-14 hours at a time so you can get high. Had a friend whose boyfriend cheated on her like 5 times in 2 years. Always calling me at 3 am crying, calling him names, and saying she is dumping him. She ended up marrying him and the first phone call I got I hung up. You married the fool you deal with it and quit waking me up. What is something from your childhood that no longer exists now? Yelling somebody get the phone. When MTV actually played music. Not having your entire life video recorded. Cool spoons from cereal boxes I miss the color changing in straw once. Wendy's salad bar. Privacy. Mostly in the sense that we didn't have big meta mining our data location listening. Arcades and malls. They are just not the same. Saturday morning cartoons. I recall hearing about a concept mentioned in movies known as a Christmas bonus. Affordable housing in my hometown. My hometown is a shithole, but it's also only 50 miles from a very trendy coastal city, so now it's an expensive shithole. Needless to say, I won't be moving back there. Public phone booths at least where I live. Other children playing outside, I have no idea what happened to them, maybe discontinued, but every time I drive around I look for them and can't find them. What word becomes shorter when you add two letters? Also sure one who shoes puts shoes on a horse and shore and possibly retro if you have a mirror handy. Dick my dick, shorter st, and even shorter a three letter. Shortest, um? I know it is a short word already but but it is just on the tip of my tongue. 
Oh, yes, brief, shorter, you got me, sure, V. More of a riddle than a dad joke, but it's so darn good take my upvote, short, skull. What's the creepiest unsolved mystery? Kyra and mom took him to school, walked around the science fair in the gym then he went to class. Has not been seen since. He was in the school. Come on now. It's been over a decade now. I have a Google alert on his name for updates. The Ericsson twin sisters that ran across a motorway in England, were hit several times by lorries and cars, and just kept moving somehow. Even the backstory and aftermath get weirder the more you find out, the stranger it gets. Brian Schaefer went into an OSU campus bar. Never seen again. Filmed entering inside but never leaving. Tragically his family members all met sad deaths in the decade following. What's the most drunk per dollar product available in your country and how bad is the hangover? Everclear. There's a big label on the bottle that says flammable, forbidden from transport on passenger aircraft and I think that's all you really need to know about it. In some parts of the country it's just outright banned entirely because it can kill you very, very easily. In Australia, as others call it, box wine, swish. Guy named Julian brews it up. My god you can barely get her into you but if you can she'll get you some drunk, buckfast. It gets you fucked fast, by Joe, or white wine. Cheapest bottle could be around 50 cents. Tastes like shit, but gets you faded. What are some fun non-sexual things to do naked? Swim. Sleeping. Really only did it while in a relationship so I could enjoy the mornings better, but it was very freeing. Flop that wiener side to side so it slaps them thighs. Not sure if sexual, but I remember when I was dating a Catholic girl with strict no sex before marriage, but we would fool around in weird ways. One of them was a ring toss game, where she'd make me lay down in bed, strip naked until I got an erection and then she'd stand at various distances and throw little plastic glow sticks rings in the dark at me like discs. And if she got one around my erect cock then we'd get points. It'd never turn into sex but it has some pretty funny memories. Long showers, literally just walk around your house dbh. Do not cook bacon naked. At least wear an apron. Sunbathing behind my house, trust me. Sword fights, sauna, cry in a fetal position just kidding, 